What's up everybody, it's a Blue Drake, and today I am very excited to have another video of Infinity Battlescape for you. This time around, we're going to be doing a quick tech demo to show all of the amazing things that there are to see in the incredible prototype build that was kindly provided to me for the Kickstarter. Now, if you are impressed or convinced by anything that you see here, links to the Kickstarter will be in the top left hand and right hand corner of this video. So, hopefully, if enough people are able to contribute to this project, they will be able to take this already amazing game and get it to its final stages of development. But enough about that. Let's take a look at Infinity. Now, as you can see, we're actually in a station residing in rings around a moon that is orbiting a larger gas giant. Now, everything in this game is very, very pretty, but the biggest thing to take away from this is even though that that moon and the gas giant you saw earlier are pretty enough to be backdrops, they are anything but. Everything in this game is real, physical bodies that you can visit, and it's really hard to explain it because a lot of games have that, and you're wondering, oh, well, what sets this game apart from those games? And I could tell you, but best way is to show you. Every planet in this game, every solar system, every moon, Every ring you can visit in incredible detail with no loading screens, no gimmicks, nothing. Just 100% real procedurally generated planetary bodies in a seamless universe. Let's go visit some of those mountains up there. Now it's time to disengage warp, as warping close to the atmosphere of any planetary body is inherently dangerous. And now we're going to engage flight auto assist, since inside the atmosphere, the flight dynamics are much different from a ship in zero gravity. Now, in case it isn't already apparent, every inch of this world you can visit, every inch of every planet is something that is procedurally generated that you can land on, that you can fly over, you can fly through in incredible detail without any loading or anything to break the immersion. But as you can see, those below us, those are actually trees. And if that doesn't blow your mind enough, that right there is a player. This game is completely open for other players and completely open to multiple factions warring at once on large, massively multiplayer servers. So uh, let's have some fun with this guy.
we've beaten him up a tad. Let's see if we can get away from him. We've put some distance between ourselves. Let's take this battle to space. As you can see, battles can go from the tops of a mountain to low atmosphere orbit to even deep space seamlessly. Keep moving out. And now we're ready for a warp jump. In the real game, there will be multiple points of interest to battle over, or resources, or other aspects that benefit your team. There will be three teams, and the game will be treated much more like a team-based combat game than an open RPG. Think maybe Planet Side 2, just in space or you can go anywhere and do anything, but also take part in wonderful team-oriented combat game modes. So now that we've explored that planet a little bit, let's take a look at another planet that could be very likely controlled by an enemy team. Once again, in this game, there are new, no preset destinations. There is no preset loading screens or ways to access a planet. So let's go to the dark side here, and then when we're on the dark side of the planet, let's fly to the dark to the uh, to the light side from the dark side, just to show you how beautiful this game can be, but also showcase the absolute freedom that you have. Coming into a planet in warp is actually very tricky, so hopefully I can get this right.
there we are. We're now on a completely new planet. From a completely new point of view. And as you can see, by looking at the gas giant, we can see that the star that we're orbiting around is in this direction. So using that information, let's head towards the daylight horizon. And if you look up, you can see the planet that we just came from. And either even other players that are still on the planet, still in the rings and the stations. Even when you leave an area, everyone's still there. Everyone is still able to operate and fly. That guy that we were just shooting at a couple seconds ago is still probably flying around in the exact canyon that we were. It looks like we do have a follower, though. There's a pretty peak. Let's head towards that. Looks like we might have a, uh, a guest. Let's take this downtown. So someone has actually followed us from the previous planet in hyperspace, and even going to an entirely new planet, they're still able to follow and engage us. Let's see if we can lose them in some of these uh, lava fields. We might have put some space in between us and them. They definitely haven't hit us yet. Oh, look at that. It's our same lover boy. So, the same player that was actually engaging us on the previous planet is still here. So we're actually going to gain some altitude. We're going to take this to uh, the lighter side of the planet, where I can actually see more. Alright, we're almost at warp velocity. actually lets us get a really beautiful view of the horizon. these planets there's actually installations and factories that you can visit. I believe there's one on the north side. And just like 
the station that we launched from, you can easily land and rearm and repair at these points of interest. So, not all of these planets are just featureless blobs. Some of them will be inhabited, some of them will have bases, some of them will be a little bit more barren like this volcanic world. It looks like our buddy has gone into warp too. Alright, last but not least, take a look at the gas giant. I've actually never gone into the gas giant. And if I die, please forgive me. But I am really curious to see what happens. Picturesque moments like this really blow my mind more than anything. So now that we're on the light side, let's try to make a controlled descent into the higher atmospheres of the gas giant, even though there's no way we're going to be able to make landfall. in the first layer of atmosphere. That may be as close as we can actually get to the gas giant itself without dying. But, 
This is actually something that brings up an interesting feature that the developers have told me will be made available in the final game, is you will be able to use the environment from a gameplay standpoint. The lava fields of that planet will be able to mask a heat signature. Electrical fields might be able to mask targeting sensors. Lightning storms might be able to have other effects on other systems and sensors, and you can actually use the solar system to your advantage and all of the different aspects that come with that. So let's see if we can pull around way here before our ship gets crushed. And then we'll head back to the station. primary gravity field, so we should be able to start having a lot more warp velocity with less effort here shortly. Looks like there's still a couple players exploring that volcanic planet. I think we might have lost our pursuer, however. I also definitely enjoy the dynamic cockpit lighting. Alright, let's head back base.
home sweet home. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tech demo of Infinity Battlescape. And if you're impressed, I hope that you have become a backer of the game. I am really excited for this game. I am definitely interested in having it finish development and hopefully even do some more ambitious features that they haven't even thought of yet. There's so much potential for this game, not just with what they want to do with it, but what they can do with it that they haven't even begun to develop yet. It's already at an incredibly ambitious state. The fact that you can have planet side, space, deep space, asteroids, rings, all that you can visit in real time without no loading screens whatsoever is incredibly just cutting edge, groundbreaking, immersive, everything, every possible good word that you could possibly think of is perfect for this game. And hopefully, if we give it the funding that it deserves, we'll be able to have something truly special and possibly one of the most iconic games of our generation. All right, well, that's it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed this, feel free to share and subscribe. Helps out more than you know. If you want to see more about Infinity Battlescape and other new games that you don't even know are your favorite games in the world yet, feel free to be a subscriber. We put out new videos every single day. And besides that, thanks so much for watching. All right, guys, love you. Bye.